Becoming your strongest financial self? Good plan. Northwestern Mutual's Guide to Good Financial Planning can help you balance spending and saving, set goals, and start creating the life you want to be living. Get it today at northwesternmutual.com slash good plan. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love when calls the heart. Hey, it's <laughs> Panda. I like when yeah, calls you the do. Heart. Yeah, take a deep breath, you lion sack of no good. All right, that seems. <laughs> no, you deserve every second of it. I'm Dan, and these two are while we're still watching this nonsense. I despise it. And this is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast. Deck the Hallmark is this podcast. When calls the heart, when, when calls the heart, when well, I when say when heart. you say the heart, when, when I say when, when I say when you say comes the heart, comes the heart. <laughs> What's up, you everybody? Yeah, world. boy. <laughs> Guys, how's our footy team doing? Oh, I need to look that up. Go the, bulldogs. The doggies. Go doggies. Oh, also, we got an email. Wasn't a what's calling my heart. So we'll allow it. S- somebody that just wanted us to shout out New Zealand. Well, heck yeah. They're big fans of uh, of the Wind Calls the Heart podcast. Susanna Irwin and her husband watch us every week in New Zealand. Good day. Oh, no. Good Kiwi. day. Good day. Good day, Irwins. That's New right, Zealand's Irwins. dope. New Zealand Give me is these so Irwins any day of the week. That's right. We Robert, did so Robert Irwin? There you have it. Kick rocks. No, Kick rocks, Robert. Not. You don't know what turtles yeah. are thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll never forget the night panda in LA yep. where we were in the car. Remember this? Mm-hmm. And sugar Ray was on. Yep. Yeah. And we were like, what are the odds yep. that we are together in LA and sugar Ray's on the radio? So good. The night is ending mm-hmm. with a party on the rooftop. Top of the world. Tonight. <laughs> and you know what they played for the last song of the night? Sugar, Sugar Ray. freaking Ray. Yeah, they oh. did. Two times, Ray, one Sugar night Ray. in Los Angeles. Can I say this? That is probably one of the most magical experiences of my life. Yeah. Sure. I love... Wrigley, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How about you? Doing good, man. Uh, I gotta be honest, though. What? It was a tough week last week. I am a big Amber Heard stand. <laughs> <laughs> Just got in my ear. I can't talk anymore about that. I would highly advise <laughs> against it. I don't think there's any winning there, buddy. No, you're right. That's true. And my, I don't even have anything in my What ears. do you it's like just, her? Uh, somebody <laughs> just, my, I, you know. Was that your conscience? Yeah, it was. My conscience probably got the Are best Are you a big me. Aquaman? Like, what? how, how did this, how, how did I'm you? I'm Aquaman, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've never seen Aquaman, have you? <laughs> no, not even a little bit. <laughs> no. He's a fast one, right? I don't do superheroes, guys. I got a busy life. You don't do you superheroes. Me. You heard me. What do you do? Oh, a lot of things. Like what? Smoking a good cigarette. When was the last time you went to the theater? Drinking a nice Mad Dog 2020 on the front porch of Fitzy's I'm farmhouse. I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it. When was the last time you went to a theater? What do you mean you're not falling for it? I'm not going to ask you Mad what a Mad Dog, Dog 2020, 2020 is. MD 2020. You can buy it at the gas station. Mad Dog 2020. It's a drink. I'm not making that up. I don't make anything up, by the way. You get a rocking chair and a Mad Dog 2020, you're in heaven. <laughs> Bug Zapper's a plus, you know what I mean? What was the last movie you saw in the theaters? In the theater, in the cinema? Cinema. Well, I see all, I see all the Tremors movies, right. yeah. and okay. I think we know that. Sure. Right? Well, Boss Baby, did you see that? In oh, theaters? yeah, Boss Baby, of course, several right. times I saw it. I go to the theater, Brian. Are you a big, like, Minions fan? No. Okay. No, no, no. I'm That's sorry. lame. That's weak, weak sauce boss baby there. <laughs> weak sauce baby is what that is. <laughs> weak okay. sauce baby. You heard me. So you what, think- is there a movie you're excited about coming there out? There is the one coming out. What? Yeah. You what know what it is? It's in July. It's my pants. <laughs> uh, and Buzz Lightyear. Very excited about Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, well. No? <laughs> Where's yeah. Tim Allen, though? <laughs> he and Amber Heard should be in a movie together. <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's allowed. I don't know. I don't think we can air it. I don't think we can air it. I don't think we can air it. Uh, The Western Bulldogs not doing great. They're 10th out of 18 teams right now. Well, at this rate, I'm going to pull my support. They didn't take any of our recommendations for trades. I I told them Donald Donald needs to go. Donald Donald. It needs to be. Yes, uh, hello, top it's Donald. Feet. Donald. Hey, Donald. Hello. How Good are you? Good day. Well, <laughs> what can I do for you? He called me. Yeah, I said that yep. you should be number one. Right. Pick. Right. Number one pick. Yes, right. Uh, uh, but you were not. I was not. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Uh, right. <laughs> do you, do you need any, add Donald? Do you need Donald? anything else for me? No. no <laughs> I confirmed it. Yes, I was now. The best. Western Bulldogs' best player is the right. Bont. Yes, and the Bont. I know the, him well. Brand, yes. I think, it was Brand that suggested we they trade. Yes, the Yes, I remember that episode for a well. Bunch yes, of picks. right. Donald, was that a smart move? Yeah, not a bad one, no. <laughs> because if you think about what I what I know about Flea, <laughs> eh, you crumb crumb diddly umptious. You get a few picks and you shake the ball and you and you call yourself the daddy. You call yourself the daddy. <laughs> the daddy. <laughs> the daddy. <laughs> The daddy. <laughs> the daddy. Oh. Okay. The daddy. The daddy. Dirty. 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 Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See. See. Was that Spanish Australian? Yes. Fantastic. Thanks, Donald. Donald. You're welcome. Man, it's getting late early. Getting daddy. <laughs> Get daddy with your daddy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't all think right. It, I don't know what source. Of, Amber heard uh, Tim Allen or or that. <laughs> One calls the heart. Uh, the heart. Uh, what do we got this name of? You, you already told us. Heart, heart of the heart father. Of daddy. I'm, go- <laughs> I'm going back to the heart of a father. That's exactly right. I'm going back to the heart of father. And it's, it's all, all about, about you. No. Nope. Oh. It's all about. Uh, this originally aired on March 1st, 2020. 2020. <laughs> and it went a little something like this. Allie's back and she's gonna have a sleep over Huda. Hey, uh, Allie's back. You know, you know, you know, I've been saying 2020 for years <laughs> and you've never once asked me to say anything else. Uh, 2020 guy, what's your name? Jim. Jim, how are you? I'm doing great. You didn't even ask me my last name. Jim, what's You just up? want me for my silky voice. Yes. 2020. <laughs> You don't were the ask me. you asked that Rick Dilby stuff all the time. There was a guy in here that wanted ribs. You never want to talk to 2020. You never even want to talk to me. It's Jim Flanders is my name. Thank you. The Jim, third. Jim Flanders. 2020. Jimmy Boy Flanders. What what makes you interesting, Jim? It doesn't matter, Panda. I just want the time of day and Brandon won't give it to me. Okay, I don't know what the year guys have I said 2020. for me. I said 2020 for a year straight. I got nothing. In our that defense, is, in is, our defense, de- Jim, that was during COVID. You even called me the wrong name. That just was now. during COVID. I don't even care what it was. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> I know you were. You brought me in every day. Didn't ask me a single solitary question. That in, is true. In my defense, not. I thought it was someone we knew there just with a mask. It on. is weird that you guys carpooled together. You're defenseless. <laughs> you carpooled. You brought him in every day. You're speaking in third person? Yeah. Jim got brought in by brain every day. Not a word. Not a single word. Can Did I, you were you just quiet the whole time? I'm still, I don't, you, you guys the, know the how I am around. Have come to roost. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of with Jim on this one. Yeah, we're all with Jim on this one. Gotta be honest, Brain. Every time you came in, you'd be like 2020 20 guys here, and you'd roll your eyes. <laughs> you did it every day. And then when we try to ask him questions, you knew interrupt it. us. I'd sit there, I'd be like, hey, so what's your net? And every single time you'd be like, hey, shut up, Panda. And I had to ride on the roof of his car. That's not true. He said there was no room inside. It was one time. Car seats and all. It was one time. Well, certainly you had a passenger seat. He goes sad. There was a ball. Uh, So, Bill, uh, there's apparently there's a new chef at the saloon. And... um, there's going to, you know, things are going to happen. Um, Bill, as you know, is still uh, running the uh, the cafe while uh, Abigail's, Abigail's away bribing uh, her mother. I mean, yeah. taking care of her mother. It's funny because it's true. She's wow. a criminal. Oh. Yeah. We've got some pretty realistic photos, Dan, I, proving that she did just that. Um, 
So, uh, Bill is uh, kind of running amok now. He's nervous about this new food as how it's going to, uh, you know, interfere with his business. Um, so he's talking to Clara and he's like, try to try to find out the recipe, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So Rosemary, um, now everyone is giving thoughts on Clara's wedding. Um, there's like uh, dresses and stuff. And Clara's just... She's not interested in hearing what everybody else thinks about her wedding. Ned, you guys know Ned. Yep. Mercantile Ned. Uh, he I hope he's to, okay. Starts to feel sick to his stomach. Oh, no. He's worried about uh, eating out. Maybe that eating at the saloon or the cafe may have caused it. Florence overhears this as she does. Spreads the word around town that there's a f- food poisoner among, uh, among us. Um... So uh, Allie's getting ready for her big sleepover. Elizabeth offers to uh, help her with some cupcakes. Uh, Ned is coming into the old doctor's office, and uh, Faith, wouldn't you know it, a woman, uh, <laughs> gives him some sort of uh, advice on what might be going on. And Carson's like, "You know stuff. You could, you could, you could you, be a doctor. You know stuff about the body." <laughs> Man, women keep surprising us. <laughs> Nathan, uh, this old fella, comes into town. Uh, his name's uh, Archie. Turns out it's Nathan's uh, father. Archie Grant. Yeah. So uh, Allie's very excited to meet him. She's totally forgotten about her sleepover at this point, just so aghast. Um, and Nathan's like, over my dead body, you're going to spend time with that that monster. And Allie's like, you never let me do what I want to do. Uh, but Nathan, but no, he's like, <laughs> you know what? Enough of this. Um, Elizabeth um, is talking to uh, to Nathan. And uh, I'm sorry, he's, she's talking to Allie and is like, maybe you should write down a list of reasons why you want to uh, talk to your grandfather. So uh, that's good. Um, and then Elizabeth is like, uh, you know, you should listen to what Allie has to say. That's nice. Faith um, hears that everyone's getting sick because of eating out, and she shares that um, you might have an ulcer. Um, waiting for Carson to officially diagnose that sucker. Uh, guys, we got the word is in. It is an ulcer. <laughs> and you are the father. God, this um, synopsis is almost as bad as the episode. <laughs> <laughs> so once... The word has come out that it was not the food. Lucas and Bill decide to uh, band together and have a little barbecue to celebrate the fact that neither of their two restaurants are destroying people's uh, tum-tums. They tell Florence, hey, since you're a big gossip, you go tell everybody about this. Carson talks to Faith and is like, you know stuff. Uh, Have you ever thought about being a doctor? And she's like, I did one time. And she's like, he's like, well, basically, you know the stuff. I can vouch for you. You be doctor in no time. So I guess that's going to happen, I guess. Um, Nathan finally talks to uh, his father. Things seem to be going well until he gets a call uh, that uh, Archie is a suspected robber in Benson Hills where dreams go to die. <laughs> and he goes into, uh, to arrest that man. And Allie's like, What? And there's stuff with Claire and Jesse in the wedding, but who cares? And that, my friends, was Wind Calls the Heart. Heart of Papa. Papa. Papa? That's my 11. How's that? (laughs) It sounds closer to Kevin McAllister. Okay, hold on, hold on. (laughs) Oh, 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 you mean this? Mom? Dad? God, it's eerie how good that is. Is this a joke? It sounds like a Midwestern mom trying to impersonate Kevin McAllister. Buzz. <laughs> That's better. That's as good as it's ever been right there. Dad. Scary guy with the bandage. Is this a joke? Now do your 11. Papa. That is uh, awful. Okay. That's not great. It's not okay, great on, at hold all. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You got to get in it. Get in it. Okay. You got to get in it. God, squeak. Mike. Papa. Good gosh. That's Is this bad. a joke? We'll be right back here on Deck the Hallmark. <laughs> I 
I don't know about you boys, but that synopsis made me think I was watching it all over again. <laughs> it certainly did. Let's uh, get our pants, uh, hitch our pants up and get ready for a good day. Uh, Panda, let's start with a hot take where we share exactly how I felt about this Bring it uh, home, episode. Big guy. Panda, what'd you think about this episode of television? Okay, first of all, I don't need it, Dan. I don't need it. I don't need it either. But if I were to say something perhaps detrimental, I would say this was not a strong episode. And I would say that this season um, seems like a step backwards overall. Uh, a step God, backwards? This is, God, this is such a bad show. It's terrible. It's bad. It's Panda, terrible. Do, do, I, do your 11. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> Why do you keep going higher? You heard him. He was like three octaves too high, and you're like, I'm going to go higher. Well, that's what you do. She's like, Papa? <laughs> <laughs> crushed it. Give me your Joyce when she yells Will's name. <laughs> well, there you go. That's that a good Joyce. Better than yeah. the eleven for Why sure. Want to hear? <laughs> yeah. So is that it? <laughs> I'll cut nothing. Uh, thanks for getting me out of there with an eleven impression. I didn't have anything. <laughs> I else. Didn't have anything Show else. sucks. <laughs> Dude, how were people watching <laughs> season seven? Season six was solid. Season seven just is going nowhere. I, can I say this? No, I'm mad. Let me go ahead and say he, one thing I'm mad about. He's mad. Close up. Get the close up, Trace. Yeah, three. Can't, yep. All right. Here's what I'm mad about. You're looking at the wrong camera. No, no. no, no, no this one right here. Yeah, he's doing great. Yeah. Uh, Nathan is the obvious choice, right? She needs to go with Nathan. It's ridiculous yeah. that I, I mean, I already know she ends up with Lucas. There is not a world where she should end up with Lucas. He, Nathan is clearly the pick. She is uh, a great uh, kind of a connection for Allie. Like it's just Nathan is a reputable. Everything dude. about everything their worlds about fit together. Everything. Try. This is so stupid. This show's maddening. Uh, and listen, and they've squandered everything. They've squandered everything. We're doing nothing with uh, of anything. It, it is just everything's meaningless. Fish money. That, uh, meaningless. <laughs> everything is meaningless. I'm so frustrated. That's it. You guys know. You guys know Job uh, in the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I envy him. I envy him. <laughs> mm. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a friend that you don't even recognize, you know. <laughs> See, you turn on one goes hard every day, and you're excited to hang out with some old friends. You turn it on, and you're just like, "What? I don't. I'm bummed. I'm sad. I'm distraught. I'm a lot of those words uh, because <laughs> it's just. I got more alley this week, so I, you know. But it wasn't the same alley. <sighs> no, it's the same alley. No, like. She wasn't the conniving. Oh, her personality is completely changed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Go yeah, figure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same actress. Different personality yeah. entirely. Not the alley you signed up for. Not the alley that I signed up for, rooted for, Boring created, alley. created, uh, you know, s signature things for, petitions, that's the word. Uh, signature things. <laughs> I just, I'm bummed, guys. I'm sad. I just, you know. Yeah, I mean, as of right now, I'm uh, I'm I'm Team Nathan. I'll come over. I'll come over with the with the with the team because what's Lucas doing? Not much. Not much. This week, all he did was talk about whether or not he thinks Bill poisoned somebody. So I don't know. Not great. So just you know, I you guys know me. This is not the tone, the outlook on life, etc. That I like to have. I'm not enjoying my words right now. I don't like me. So I'll go back to sharing my dynamite 11. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> there? That's just your Kevin McAllister in falsetto. It's different. It's, it's nuanced. nuanced. <laughs> it is nuanced. You guys know Barb in Stranger Things? Yeah. <laughs> I envy her. <laughs> uh, last week, when you said Panda that it doesn't bode well that this is kicking off the season in the leadoff spot, and this is what they're coming in with with the se season premiere. Yeah, I should have realized that we were about to mine the depths of just Turdville in this episode. This is an all-time bad episode. I actively hated myself for watching it. I can't believe it just made, made the air. <clears throat> um, and to your point... It doesn't matter if I like Lucas more. 
Because I think we all probably still like Lucas more. Yeah, I like Lucas. Great guy. The idea. <laughs> uh, great guy. <laughs> see, we, we, uh, we played a game of hearts down at the VFW last <laughs> night together. <laughs> he was telling what me a war story. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, the, the fact is, is that I don't know what kind of hoops they're going to have to jump through to, for this not to feel manipulate, like an, a manipulation with her and Nathan. It is so obvious. And here's the thing is, it becomes more obvious when literally nothing else happens all episode. Somebody has a stomach ache, people. That's the lead. Somebody has a stomach ache. And Nathan Grant's father's in town. That is 42 minutes. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Give me, your, give me your 11. Boo! Give me your 11. Papa? No, that's not bad. Boo! Yeah, that was too good. Sorry. It's too good. Are you kidding me? It's better than your two 11s. Just Papa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Papa! Papa! That's better. Yeah, that was now better. Now you're getting it. Yeah, you were, you were, that was not bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's terrible. I do have feels, though, and I'm being serious. I do have feels. You guys remember when Millie Bobby Brown came on the A podcast? No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Um, didn't we wish her happy birthday? We did. Yeah, it was wild out there. That was a wild week two years ago. Yeah. Happy birthday, Millie. Uh, Panda, any feels? <sighs> yeah, I can't. I, I, I was a little disappointed it wasn't food poison. That would have been a fascinating. <laughs> that would have been fascinating. I'm, I'm mad Ned's not dead. <laughs> No, just like do with the, the yeah. stomach bubbles. Yeah, I don't know. I I just couldn't believe. I I guess the it was just shocking to me that no one had pieced together uh, face the idea that Faith is actually legitimately an intelligent woman who could be a doctor. Uh, and he's just like, hey, you know, you're not dumb. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Um, I really like the um. The new season of Stranger Things. I'm really enjoying that. Dan? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this episode's just a, a utter train wreck, dumpster fire, terrible. But there is a very small moment of great acting that I need to point out. Uh, Nathan Grant's father comes to town, Archie Grant. Uh, His papa? He's, he's a mess. It's that. That's what it yeah. is. That's how good it is. Papa? Man, between the two, it's hard to even tell. Right, well, at the same time, One. close your eyes, and if you don't see Millie MBB, yeah. ready? Three, two. Man, you nailed it. You guys do sound alike, if that's worth anything. Um, so it's clear We're like that, a two, it's two, clear that two string chord. Uh, no, Archie Grant, Nathan Grant's dad, is Irish. Yep. Duh. Top of orange. And Kevin McGarry, probably Irish in real life, would be my guess. But it, it's clear that Archie Grant, who's a longtime Canadian actor, I forget his name, he's been doing a lot of stuff. Um, he's doing an Irish accent in this. And Nathan, when he starts to get really mad, at Archie, you can see tonal, you can hear tonally his voice shift to a bit more Irish. I he, I would, heaven forbid me tell you to go watch any more of this again, but when he starts yelling, he starts to get more Irish. And in that moment, maybe because the rest of the show was just a desolate pile of despair, but it was great. Do you think like, he meant to do that? I think he did. Knowing him in accents... I think that he did mean to do it. I don't think it was an accident. I think he did mean to do it. And if he didn't, then I'm giving him too much credit. But I think he meant to do it, and I wanted to call it out here because it's literally the only 10 seconds of this episode that was worth anything. So there you go. There are my feels. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back with the way what and the hopes and vows. Yeah, the here good on. stuff. Take the hallmark. Yeah, I will say this. It's better than that high pitched squeal thing you were doing. She's very breathy. Mike. That's better. Okay. It's better. Still an octave or two too high, in my opinion. Wait, uh, who are you trying to be 11? 11. Yeah. 11 saying Mike? Yeah. Mike. 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 Oh my gosh. It is like. That's better. She's, she's here in this studio. Yeah. Mike. 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 There it is. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Mike. She's still learning how to talk, guys. It's all breath. Mike. Mike. She's a revelation. <laughs> yeah, man. Sure. <laughs> uh, let's start with the way what? Panda? Uh, yeah. So 
I didn't have they, a lot. I, I, I don't have a lot, but can they make Florence go door to door? Like Florence is the most irritating character of all time. Yeah, her and Rosemary should just They're get just, on a ship and be sent out to sea with a hole in it. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> said what I said. <laughs> That's brutal. Uh, so wait a minute. At like <laughs> out to sea with a hole in it. Poke a hole in it. Send him out. Life raft? No. Wow. Sink or swim, baby. <laughs> fair uh can they make her go door to door they come in and they were like well you're going to have to go door to door after what you've done like can you really make somebody she's a grown adult is that what you got i mean i think she realizes she did she did bad <laughs> and wants to do good i don't know the she fact does that the she same has thing that every job week. is so stupid it's it's a dumb thing it's such a convenient plot device to move the story from one boring plot line to another. Oh, that's fair. Uh, finally, the last thing is Dr. Shepard rolls into town. He's been gone for yeah. know, a little bit of time. Whatever. And the first place he goes is to the cafe and not to see uh, Faith. Yeah. And I just want to point get, that out. Gotta get some grub. Gotta get some grub, I guess. You get the grub uh, on. I don't know. If, whenever I'm gone for a few days, I typically go to try to see my loved one first, but you know. Get a quick Sammy first. <laughs> oh, I could go first. Sammy. Sammy, Sammy. That's all I got. Yeah, I also don't have many. I mean, I found it to be an interesting choice to uh, celebrate the town not having a food virus with a barbecue celebration. Yeah, that was yeah, an yeah. interesting food bold. to choose. That's bold because uh, it's always uh, always on the up and up. Um, I and I'm just still like pondering like what the plan is right now or what like. Do they do people that are watching this still think that this show is about Elizabeth? <laughs> because in this episode, Elizabeth um, helps Allie make a cupcake and encourages her to make a list. That's the lead, the lead of the show. And that's a shame. Yeah. A shame. I know that I am I'm team Allie all the way. I want all the Allie, Allie I can get. in this episode. Um, but Even this Allie? No. Yeah, I didn't Allie. think so. This is not my Allie. Hashtag not my, not my Hashtag Allie. Not my Allie. Um, just like, what are we doing with, like, with Elizabeth? I know we're about to get into a heavy dose of love triangle, but, I mean, come on, guys. Come on. But, like, at this point, there's no way they can keep her dignity as a respectable character having a love triangle, right? They're just spinning the wheels trying to bide their time till it's okay, I think. Like I, I would say that the leads of the like the the I would say this shows currently more about Rosemary and Lee than yes. it is about Which, Elizabeth. Which to their credit, they're doing better. They both their plot line is more interesting and they're bringing great I said it last I just, week there's more gravitas to them and they're living up to that. They're I just better. I like know Rosemary the, more. the screenwriter that came in like whipped up this batch and came in and was like Read this episode, and they were like, "Yeah, gotta have it." Yeah, I mean, in their in their defense, like, what I don't know how you continue to center the show around Elizabeth after the actor who plays her husband decided not to be in the show anymore. Like that puts them; they were in a tight spot there. Obviously, like, what do you do? But like, oof, more than this, I yeah, feel like bad. right more than this. And I love I love Erin. I want I like I think she's excellent. But like, get get like, we need more than cupcakes and lists yeah um Damn. i only had two one is they make this big deal out of rosemary being the matron of honor for jesse the face's fiance and i don't remember them having a lot of scenes together like are they close friends who is this i'm sorry jesse the face jesse the face's fiance, fiance yeah. and rosemary yeah i that was a surprise to me like she does it and it's this big thing and i'm like does she not have any actual friends because rosemary is with dotty Rosemary's with Elizabeth. Rosemary's with Abigail. Beforehand, she's with Florence. She's never with this girl. I think it's assumed that they go over to dinner. And then Lee asks the Jesse the face. The natural like, choice is for her to ask Abigail. That's right. Or her mother-in-law. Exactly. To be her matron. Bingo. So that's tough. <laughs> yeah. And then the second one is they make a point. Uh, Dr. Carson's on the phone, and he's like, can't believe they made cameras these small now. And he holds up this thing. And in 1917, they did make a Kodak Eastman camera, which they advertised could fit in a vest pocket, and it extended back out. But it was a big, bulky mother. Like, it was still like this, like right out here. What he's holding is like maybe the size of this phone. 
it does like he's like man i can't believe they had cameras they did not have him hold an actual kodak eastman and it's a travesty but you know what par for the course for this episode and that's really all i got let's uh do some hopes and valleys things that we are uh giving uh in this episode that gave us hope for the future and our bumming nothing uh, nothing nothing panda um uh, just the sweet release of death that's the only thing that can stop this train <laughs> <laughs> and that's it i i I don't know how many chances I try. Like I've tried so many times in season six. I was back on board and I was trying so hard, the, but it's the just sweet release of death. I just coming down at Grell and Poe. I just don't know. Sheesh. I don't have anything to look forward to. When I was a young boy, <laughs> showed me season seven. <laughs> Wind calls the heart. <laughs> he said, this is your future. <laughs> It's bleak and <laughs> nothing's going to happen. <laughs> I just, uh, my, the only, the only real uh, thing that I'm happy about is that there's no long episodes. Yeah. There's no long episodes. I can't beat sweet relief of death. I've got nothing. <laughs> that's, that is my hope is, yeah. uh, that's, just, that's it. That's, that's emo. That's emo transcendental, you know, next level. That's is what it. That is. My hope is that Payne and I will get to go on tour for our 11 impression yeah. uh, <laughs> to a sitting near you. Uh, my Valley is, I, I don't like the way I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Just about this. So I don't want it. Do you, are you hopeful for next week? No, oh, unfortunately not. Cause the only thing we have to look forward to is uh, Nathan's dad turning out to be not so bad. Guys, He's only in one more episode. Can we right. talk about how shady Benson Hills is in general? Nothing yeah. good happens. Everything there. in Benson Hills is a sham. It's, it's it is Sodom and Gomorrah. I do love that was another way what I forgot is they can arrest someone on the suspicion of with no proof whatsoever. None. They have no proof. They're like, you're going to jail. That's right. Real bad. Um I have none of those things. Can we just go to the what's calling my heart? Please? I'll allow it. We got emails. Uh, Dan, read one. <laughs> yeah, you can email us hello at dickthehallmark.com. We get this really, email. really great emails. We do. It uh, really from people make, that are sharing ahead of time, sharing so. what's what they're digging right now. Right. It's bringing mm. them joy. Um, this is from Emily Bergquist. Emily Bergquist. Hi, buddies. Smiley face. Hi. That's an interesting start. Uh, what's calling my heart is arguing about how bad the plot, the characters, and the drama of When Calls the Heart is with several friends who are hearties. Oh, the no. twist is I have never seen an episode of <laughs> When Calls the Heart. <laughs> Emily, you're my new favorite person. I have also never even seen a picture of any of the cast. <laughs> My only information source is the Deck the Hallmark <laughs> podcast. Emily, you are winning right now. Oh, my goodness. My friends actively love this show, and I would have to say I tend to poke holes in their enjoyment. What can I say? I I'm need a, you to record these conversations. Oh, my gosh. What can I say? I'm a 25-year-old Dan. Emily, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> I love your podcast. I'm a single gal who teaches fifth grade and in her spare time is getting her master's. I spend many hours by myself doing life and I know I can always count on you guys to entertain me and keep me company. I'm grateful for it, but I'm even more grateful for the review of when calls the heart so I can actively debate my friends who love it. You all can go kick rocks. Emily Bergquist. I mean, come on, Amazing. man. That's great. Just fantastic. Oh Thank you, gosh. man. We got it. We do it. We do it for Emily. That's why we do it. Yep. That's exactly That's right. Phenomenal. Unbelievable. That's it. So uh, we're going to that tomorrow with uh, the penultimate nice job signed sealed delivered and tell them who you're the first to wish you a <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Papa Papa Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast it's presented by Philo TV it's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in yeah that Greenville South Carolina set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall for more information on Deck the Hallmark you can go to deckthehallmark.com for more information on Bramble Jam podcast network you can go to bramblejampodcast.com you're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio feel free to listen feel free to turn it off whatever you want to but either way Thanks so much for your support.
Building a stronger financial foundation? Good plan. Northwestern Mutual's Guide to Good Financial Planning can help you balance spending and saving, set goals, and start creating the life you want to be living. You'll learn how the tools in your financial plan reinforce each other to help you minimize taxes and offset potential risks. Grow your confidence by strengthening your finances today at northwesternmutual.com slash good plan. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin.